Like, did you feel like she seemed a little different tonight? Or did you, was it something that you were just out there doing your job so you didn't really pick up on it? But we could see on the monitors, her chin seemed to be higher. Did you pick up on that during the fight? Um, yeah, I definitely did. I, I feel like that's something that she kind of does in a lot of her fights. She, when she comes in and opens up with those hooks, her chin's high. Um, I mean, she kind of leaves herself open there and she kind of fought exactly what I, I expected. Gotcha. I mean, you know, going into this fight, we were talking about there's no way Aaron Blanchfield is going to stand with her because <laughs> of her, how devastating she could be. And that seemed to be your go-to strategy in the beginning. <laughs> What yeah. gave you the confidence to go out and just say, you know what, I don't care what everybody else says. I'm going to go out there and show that I'm a better striker. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, every fight starts standing, and I knew I could hang with her striking. I know a lot of people uh, don't think much of my striking because of all the finishes I have on the ground and that I kind of come in as a grappler, but I know I can strike. And, um, you know, I went for some takes, and she defended well, and I knew that she was going to. I mean, she's she's been a champ for a reason. She's number three in the flyweight division for a reason. Um, so I had to just use my strikes until I could find that opportunity for a takedown. I couldn't. Uh, you have to wait for it to come. You can't, like, push it too much. You know, it's interesting. You just said that a lot of people worry about the grappling. And we know after the win over Molly, a lot of people have thought, OK, we can't go to the canvas with you. Mm -hmm. How do you describe yourself now, though? Because very clearly tonight, we see that Aaron Blanchfield also has hands. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, always, <laughs> I always aim to be as well-rounded as possible. I want to be the best in the world everywhere. So I feel like I'm gaining experience and everything. Every Is there time. one part you enjoy more, though? Are you? Um, no, I enjoy putting it all together yeah. and making, trying to make it seamless. I think that's what I enjoy the most. Yeah. First off, how did you feel when you ate her biggest shot? Were you kind of happy? Like, I'm still here, baby. It didn't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I ate it and I was like, okay. Like, I never felt, I definitely felt them. They were, she hits hard, but I was never rocked. And, um, you know, I knew I could kind of take it. I didn't want to take as many as I took, but, um, but I knew I'd be okay. And, and then I'm just also curious, sorry about that, Dean. You, you called your shot, which I love that she, the winner of Shevchenko versus Grasso. How do you think that fight plays out? You said... They asked what would happen with you in the fight, and you said my hand gets raised, I'll become the champion. But who do you think you would be facing in that matchup? Uh, I'm gonna say Shevchenko. I mean, I think Grasso is a tough fighter in her own right. Um, I think she has sharp hands, but I think Shevchenko's striking all around is a little bit better. And her takedowns and her jitsu, I think she's a little bit more well-rounded all around, but um, I can see Grasso giving her a good fight. Well, we actually do have the rankings here, and we know that going into this fight, you were number 10. You just mm -hmm. took out number three. Mm -hmm. um, you were initially scheduled to fight Tyler Santos, obviously, who we know has been in there with Shevchenko. But yeah. in light of the fight going on uh, in a couple of weeks with the, with the champ, um, you know, if it's not Grasso, if it's not, you know, Shevchenko Grasso winner, does any of these other names appeal to you? Would you like to maybe try getting the Tyler Santos fight if, if you know, a title shot didn't happen next? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, anyone above me that I feel like would get me ready for that title fight, I'd do a fight as well. Yeah. You don't want to just wait, wait it out and find out if you can fight for the belt? Oh, well, I definitely like They're only, yeah. they're fighting in like two weeks, so I think yeah. we would know pretty soon. The timing's very yeah. good. I mean, you guys both fought I, the same That's what timeline. I was expecting. Yeah, like yeah. when I got this fight um, and I saw she was fighting two weeks after, I knew that our like time to fight would kind of line right up. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we're, we're in this new era of fighter that's coming out of these small camps and is still being able to compete, not only compete, like I made a comparison between you and Jamal Hill, and it's very similar. Very, both young, just coming out and just beating a bunch of people that we wouldn't necessarily think that you were beating. Like, where is this coming from? Where is this confidence coming from? I mean, you came in, destroyed Miranda Maverick, and now just have been steamrolling everybody. Uh, my confidence comes from my preparation. You know, the coaches I have in my corner back home in Jersey, uh, they prepare me for everything. I have great training partners and coaches and I know I can be the, be the best in the world with them by my side. Nice. Well, you obviously have a great upside, a big future to you. You know, I saw you yesterday at Whole Foods. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of people call that place Whole Paycheck. You can afford it better now, Aaron, yeah. because you picked up a bonus tonight. Okay. $50,000 oh, to you for a performance bonus. So congratulations yeah, thank to you. you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it's just been really great uh, getting to know you a little bit more. I think that's kind of to the story of this is I feel like this is a bit of a coming out party for you that, yep. you know, you've done great things inside the octagon, but now people are starting to, I think, get a sense of your personality a little bit more, the cold-bloodedness, and then, you know, that you got a great personality here. And just, like, I love that focus going into this fight, so. Thank you. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a, a future title contender here, so thank you so much for joining us, Aaron. We know you <laughs> got a lot man. of media to get to, yep. um, but congrats <laughs> on the win. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.